What's going on, lawn care community? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life of Missouri. Today, we're gonna try out the Jungle Jack from Jungle Gems Accessory Products. So, I picked this up at my local dealer the other day. Um, it's a jack that will uh, allow to lift your mower up 19 inches is what it says, uh, 800 pound capacity. So we're going to try out the Titan. We're going to try out the Z3X. We're going to see um, exactly how easy or how hard it is to lift or if it's even able to lift it. So i um, going to break into the box real quick, see what's in there, and uh, we'll get this thing uh, rolling. All right, let's get into this box. Now, since I'm terrible at putting things together, I better use these <laughs> or it'll take me twice as long. All right, five hours later, I'm kidding, kinda. <laughs> took me a little bit, but got the jungle jack all um, put together now. Haven't tried it yet, so you're gonna get to see firsthand how hard it is or how easy it is to uh to get this thing to work i've never used it so trial and error bear with me but here goes So I need to slide this pin in in order to keep this uh, safety arm locked so this whole jungle jack doesn't roll back on me and collapse the uh, mower on top of me. So I'm going to try to wiggle it around here. Think that. Still just a little bit off. I'll show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. So they give you this pin to slide through so that the safety arm right here doesn't fall back and drop the whole jungle jack on you. So let me get down here a little closer see if you guys can see this, what I'm talking about. So this hole right here, it's just not lining up quite yet, just like a little bit more over so we can slide that pin on through. So I'm going to have to wiggle it around and try to get that lined up a little better. That didn't work either, so it felt like the um, parking brake was giving me some problems, so I'm going to turn take that off for now, see if it'll allow the back tires to roll a little bit so the front can come up and the back can spin around a little bit. Okay, had to kick down on this a little bit, but took the parking brake off. That worked a whole lot better. Able to put the clip back in. Let's go ahead and put the parking brake back on. All right, so as you can see, the clip, or I should say the pin is in there. Why I have everything nice and secure there. This is your safety arm. Keeps the mower or keeps the jungle jack from falling down on you. So I'm just gonna pull up on the jungle jack a little bit, see how sturdy, see how safe and comfortable it feels. 
See if the safety arm is keeping the jungle jack locked in place so this part of the jack doesn't flip up and allow the mower to fall down, you know, on top of the operator or whoever's underneath working on the machine. Okay, so that part does feel very, very solid. I'm lifting up on the jungle jack. The safety arm is keeping me from, you know, from the jungle jack going up and the mower going back down. So the safety arm is working. It's doing its job. So I'm gonna get under there, check it out, see how much room we have. Let's crawl under here, have the jungle jack nice and secure. And then I'm gonna show you the little two inch tooth that holds this mower up in the air and it is right there hopefully you can see it that just holds onto the deck you're able to uh, put that hook on the front of the deck the little lip there and when you pull it back everything stays nice and secure the deck is nice and stable now and as you can see you have a whole lot of room underneath this deck to work on it clean the blades or clean the underneath of the deck if you need to um, you're able to get to the blades the bolts drop those blades down if you need to sharpen them so a lot of guys have smaller trailers what I was saying was a lot of guys have utility trailers enclosed trailers and the one thing about the enclosed trailers or the utility trailers the ramp on the back uh, a lot of times that trailer is sitting pretty close to the ground so when you drop that ramp and drive a mower up on there you know you had the left or right side hanging over so you can switch out a couple of blades and you got to switch it over to the other side of the trailer to get maybe the left side of the of the mower deck and get that left blade or vice versa so um, with my box truck if you can see over there uh, the ramp is or let's get to the box the box sets up really tall so the ramp is a little steeper. I don't have the uh, cables that a lot of you guys have on the enclosed trailers to get in the way. So I can easily uh, drive my mowers up the ramp on the box truck, change out. Say if I drive up with my left tire hanging on the ramp, I can change the middle and the right two bla or the right blade. And then um, you know I switch it over to the left side. I put the right tire of the mower up on the ramp. I'm able to get to the left blade and the middle blade. So that's what I normally do, but I always have to switch back and forth. I have to drive it up on one side, do the blades on the, on the, on the one side, and then drive the mower up on the ramp on the other side and get the other blades. So with this jungle jack, you can just put the jack down, pull the mower up. You're able to get to all three blades all at once. You saw how quick I was able to um, put the jungle jack down and lift the mower up uh, fairly easy. It wasn't hard at all. I'm a, I'm a small guy, so um, it didn't take much to raise up the Toro Titan and get it up here for, uh, for some maintenance, switching out the blades, sharpening the blades, cleaning out from underneath the mower deck. So uh, I definitely like the Jungle Jack for that purpose, but now I'm gonna get the Z3 over here. It's a little heavier unit. It weighs, I don't know, probably four, 500 pounds more. I'm just throwing that out there, but it's probably pretty close and it's set up a little different because the engine is right over the dead center um, pretty much of the mower so uh, with this unit the engine's in the back you got a lot of weight in the back not in the front i don't know if i can lift the ferris z3x but i'm about to bring it over here and try it out sliding the pin out first see how hard that is to get out it's pretty tight getting it in so is getting hard uh, or it's it's a little tricky getting out I found if you step on the jungle jack put a little pressure on it to take pressure off the safety arm able to get the pin slid out so that's what you got to do there apparently now let's get this thing drop back down
Now it looks like I'm a long ways from this hole lining up so I can slide this pin in. Have to figure this out. So I can't get the holes to line up on the Z3. Or I should say I can't get the holes to line up on the Jungle Jack with the Z3 on there. Um, can't slide that pin through so it doesn't feel as secure, as safe. You really need that safety arm locked into place before you start getting under there and messing with the machine. So I don't know, maybe some other guys have the uh, Z3 and they're using the Jungle Jack. Maybe you can comment below, let me know what you, uh, what you do to make it work. But uh, for me, it worked good on the Toro Titan. It was a little tricky at first getting it in there, but we got the pin slid in there and everything locked into place. But with this Z3, it's not happening, man. This machine's too heavy. I don't know, maybe I have it, maybe I'm lifting it on the, on the wrong spot. I'm really not sure, but I can't get the holes lined up to slide that pin through. So probably won't be using it on the Z3 until I can figure that out. But if you guys have any info or have the Z3 and you use the Jungle Jack, be sure to let me know. So anyways, this is a quick video of the Jungle Jack from Jungle Gems Accessory Products. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have the Jungle Jack? Are you using it? If so, uh, let me know below um, which mower you use the jungle jack with and if you're able to slide that pin in with the safety arm but uh, anyways i'm out for now it's hot i need to get some lunch get something to drink and then i'm gonna hit some lawns and mow the rest of the day so i'm cameron with the lawn care life in missouri glad you guys watched this video and uh hope you guys have a good weekend it's friday today so it's a weekend here maybe wednesday where you're at either way have a good day and as always God provides okay so we had the jungle jack on some concrete I tried in the yard I wasn't very successful in locking that safety arm down so we have it here in this shop on the concrete floor we're gonna try to raise the z3x with the jungle jack will it do it will we be able to snap that um, safety arm into place let's find out Don't forget to uh, put the safety arm down. Let's see if I can slide the pin through this time. Easy, super easy. Okay, so that was super easy. Um, able to get the jungle jack up, get the uh, Z3X up in the air, able to uh, slide the pin through the safety arm. Everything's nice and secure and locked there, so it was super easy on the concrete. I hope you guys have um, you know, a concrete shop, concrete driveway, uh, something solid to uh, allow the Jungle Jack to do what it needs to do um, in a safe and easy way. So it worked, uh, worked perfect that, that way. Of course, it didn't work very well out in the yard, so I uh, definitely need to take that into consideration. Let's look under here and let's check out this Jungle Jack a little better okay so here is the jungle jack and here is the safety arm that we were having problems with earlier the pin was able to slide through with no problems so you have the safety arm there everything's nice and secure you got a lot of clearance underneath to work on the mower back up a little bit i think they say like 18 inches something like that so Plenty of room to get under there and sharpen the blades, clean out from underneath the deck. I just put, uh, I just sharpened the blades, got everything nice and and uh, good to go there. So this mower is ready to roll. So we'll put it down, see how easy it is to lower it back down. Gotta make sure you put the safety arm back up. Let's we'll lower this back down. So as you guys can see, the Jungle Jack works a whole lot better on concrete floor, 
Um, hopefully you guys, uh, if you do have a jungle jack, you're able to get it on some concrete. Maybe you got a shop, uh, maybe you got a driveway. You can uh, use the jungle jack on that. Um, at our house, we don't really have a concrete driveway or an asphalt drive. We have a gravel driveway, so it's going to be tough to uh, do something like this in the driveway, but we can do it in our shop. Got a concrete floor in there, and we're able to, uh, to raise and lower the mower super easy. So. I don't know if you guys have the jungle jack, but um, it works pretty good on the concrete floor, not too hard to uh, lower down. It's a little uh, difficult getting up. I'm a small guy, so I got to put all my weight into it to get this mower up. Now if you do have a zero turn, sit down with the engine in the back, I think a lot of that weight's going to be, you know, towards the back, the deck, not so much weight compared to, uh, you know, the stand-ons with the uh, engine right over the deck. So. Uh, sit down may be a little easier, but the standers, it's it's, uh, it's it's pretty pretty tough challenge anyways for this big mower. But anyways, guys, appreciate you watching, and uh, let me know what you think.